CBIB established that the availability of number 26 and number 31 Rideout Road for lease was public information. Both properties had for lease signs displayed prominently at the gates of these properties. And in addition, number 31 was listed on the state property information online website. The guide rents were not revealed to Minister Shamugam and his agent, nor to Minister and Mrs Balakrishnan. The review also established that the rental rates paid by both ministers were at fair market value and not below market valuation. There was no evidence that the ministers were given favourable rental rates due to their positions. Nevertheless, the public service will re reference this case as an additional example to reinforce the importance for public officers to act with integrity. In addition, the Public Service Division will work with relevant ministries and statutory boards, such as HDB, JTC, NEA and SLA, to introduce a standard declaration requirement for selected groups of officers who have access to or are involved in leasing and valuation matters. Officers in these organisations who have access to privileged information and or can influence the outcomes of decisions will have to make a declaration before they can rent government properties managed by their agencies. The officer will have to declare that he has taken adequate steps to prevent any conflict of interest from arising, for example, by recusing himself from overseeing or processing the transaction. These properties will include commercial and residential state properties such as black and white bungalows, terraces, factory office spaces, business parks, shops and neighbourhood centres, hawker and market stalls. The Prime Minister will also review the declarations required for property transactions for ministers and PAP members of Parliament.